Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're gonna bring the Google Home Mini. Now, let's open it up. Let's check it out, see what you get. So this is a very in inexpensive, and uh, I'm gonna let you know what you can do with this, and what and what's in the future, what's in store too. So maybe you're gonna wanna get one of these later down the line. It depends on, 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 on your taste. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is the first time opening it up. Now these are typical, range from 30 to 50 bucks, depends on what you get. Uh, they have larger ones. This is a, a mini, of course, and this is the, this is pretty much it, man. It looks like a little speaker. It, it could be used for a lot of things, so it's a great little device. I'm gonna put it down here. Let, let's go ahead and open up. What else do you get in here? Um, you get the instructions. Let's get them out. You get the instructions. You get the power, of course. You're gonna have to connect this sucker, and then that's it. Pretty much that's it. Power, connect. And let's get started. So first of all, let's get a, go ahead and put this together and let's get it started. Let's see what happens. What's, what's involved in getting all this started? So first of all, you want to get your power going. You want to make sure you want to connect your power. And you are going to need some sort of device to connect this. It could be, I believe it could be your iPad and it could be a phone. So let's go ahead and set this up. What you guys know how to do is connect this. That's the first number one thing to do, connect this sucker. So once you connect it, Sit it there. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Don't even have to read the instructions. It tells you exactly what you do. So you go into Google Home, of course. You go into the system itself, you download it. I'm gonna actually put a little picture on here. I'm gonna stand on the side so you can actually see what I'm doing. So we're gonna go to the store, Play Store. And we look for Google Home. Home. Like Homeboy. Search. And it's gonna find it. I'm gonna install it. And it starts generating, it starts downloading from their store, of course. Once you download the application, then you follow the instructions in here because you actually have to program your Wi-Fi connection to this device too. And once it's connected, it's very simple to go so you really don't need the instructions this sucker tells you exactly what to do next once you download the application it's pretty simple from there from now on so let's take a look let's go to the next step now so once we download it we go ahead and open it and it starts generating the open home so in this part right now it's going to give you instruction what to do next we're going to set up on a wi-fi right now connection in uh, which is in your home you got to make sure you connect this somewhere near your house because it, it, it can't be in different connections because uh, it, it, it has to be within the range of your Wi-Fi connection. So let's get started here. And of course, I'm not. I'm gonna block this thing out. I'm gonna go ahead and block it. Location. It's gonna find my location. Allow. You allow the device to find the location because if you want to look for restaurants and stuff like that, it needs to know exactly what to identify where it's gonna be connected. So this little device is pretty neat. It's it, little lights are coming on. You see that? So. I'm following the steps here on how to do the next installation. Once we start getting into the habit of um, installing this stuff, a lot of devices come with self-sufficient installations where you actually just go into an app and set it up and it's pretty much simple to do. So let's go ahead. Did you hear a sound? I say yes in here. Um, create. Um, where is this device? This device is going to be in the dining room. And right now we're gonna use a Wi-Fi that's connected closer to here. So go ahead and we'll use that one temporary. Use the say okay. So right now it's connecting to the Wi-Fi right behind me, of course. Once it connects, you ident it'll identify itself where the connection is. It's connected now. Now you have to agree to the terms. Once you agree to the terms, this is pretty much how simple it is to set up and go. And um, you read some more, uh, get personal results with your voice to match, you continue. Teach the assistants to, uh, assistant to recognize your voice. <clears throat> okay, Google. 
So right here, it's gonna install the whole application itself. We're right in the in the end of installation. So it took a quite a while because it's it's trying to recognize your voice. Not only that, it's trying to recognize your location, your habits. So once it's in there, it, it pretty much knows a lot of, of what you like, even the music that you like to hear. So let's go ahead and finish installation, installing, updating. So it's doing everything through the phone right now. And um, I'm, you could use this on an iPad. It doesn't have to be a, 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 a Droid device too. Like I said, it could be an iOS. It could be any other device that could take the same application, which is the Google Home. So make sure you consult your manual or your phone could take the actual software application. If you have an old antique phone, you might not be able to have the, my, the, the Google Home. So check your phone. Make sure it, it's a higher end phone or maybe a level to maybe six and higher because I know four, anything, if you have a thicker connection on your phone, you need to get a new phone. So, and it's not gonna work. Now, this says it's gonna take about three minutes to set up here. So Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. So here, it's actually telling me a couple things. Play some music, set the volume seven, or stop. There's a couple of commands. So we're gonna say, we're gonna try to finish up and um, see what we can do. Okay, Google. What's the weather like today? In Downey tonight, it's predicted to be 57 and clear. Right now, it's 58 and clear. So, let's ask a couple of questions. Okay, Google, how's the weather today? Again? In Downey tonight, it's predicted to be 57 and clear. Right now, it's 58 and clear. Okay, Google, tell me the news. Here's the latest news. From NPR News Now at 9 p.m. today. Live from NPR News in Washington, okay, I'm Google. Shay Stevens. Volume 7. The Trump administration is extending so temporary protected the status for some Syrians living in the right now, United just States. Listen to the NPR's news. Deborah Amos reports the announcement affirms now, we're that gonna get a ongoing now, right? armed conflict okay, Google, stop. still meets the we're gonna get a recipe from Google Home. So this is a great thing. So I don't know how to make spaghetti. Okay, Google, give me the recipe for spaghetti. Okay, I've got a recipe called cheesy beef goulash from Lil Luna. Does that sound good? That sounds fantastic. Give it to me. That song's only available for Google Play Music. No, 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 I want the recipe. But try this Google Play Music, give oh. it to me station. No, 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 Google. Google, stop. Okay, Google, stop. <laughs> so some All things right, need to be fixed on this. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google, stop music. So you gotta be specific on this, but to start, you always have to say the first words. I'm not gonna say it now. Okay, Google, give me the spaghetti recipe. Okay, I've got a recipe called layered baked spaghetti for my heart recipes. This recipe serves 12 and takes about one hour to make. Does that sound good? Yes. Great, let's get started. Would you like to prepare the ingredients or skip to the instructions? Skip to the instructions. There's 16 steps. I'll read them one by one. When you're ready to hear more, you can say next step. First step, brown the ground beef and Italian sausage over medium heat. Next step. Next step. Okay, Google. Next step. Second step, drain fat. Okay, Google. Next step. Toss in the onions and cook until translucent. Okay, Google, stop. So we're gonna stop the recipe, of course, but you can continue on. You guys get the point here. Now, this is a great thing. Now, let's, let's say your child needs some help in math. Okay, Google, what's two plus two? The answer is four. It's incredible. Okay, Google, what's the distance from here to the ocean? If you drive, ocean is 20.2 miles away. That is incredible. Now, okay, Google, what's the nearest Starbucks? 
Starbucks is on 11570 East Telegraph Road in Santa Fe Springs. It is 0.8 miles away and is rated 4.3 stars. That is pretty awesome. So there's a lot of things that you could do. You can add devices in the Google Home app. Wow, you could add TVs to turn off and on. You could display certain things. You could add lights, switches now these days. Everything's gonna be connected to this little machine. So when you wire at home, you could talk to this machine. It will turn on the lights for you. It'll turn on the TVs for you. I mean, they're all getting integrated into one system. Now, the bad thing about it, spying wise, there's rumors about they can spy on you. They could know exactly what you wanna buy. They could see a lot of things in their databases. So if you're concerned about those things, maybe, you know, not get one of these, but this overall is an awesome device. I, I pretty much love this device just to have in the house, just to ask stupid questions, recipes, and so forth. Now, another great thing is like, I could say to dial my number. So, okay, Google, can you dial a phone number? You might want to try a pickup line before asking me for my number. I have several good ones if you need some assistance. Okay, Google, give them to me. To hear that on Google Play Music, you'll need to add it to your library of or course. sign up for a subscription in the Play Music app. Of course. You can also change your default music provider in the Google Home app. Okay, Google, play Pandora. Your Pandora account needs to be linked first. You can do so that in the Google Home app. I'm going to link all my devices into this machine before I could do that. So let's go ahead and link that up. Let's go ahead and link it up. One of the great things about this also too, there's a little, a couple of video tutorials in here that will teach you. So I'm actually going to record all little video tutorials on here and you can actually go into your phone or your iPad and it will give you a demonstration of how to turn off and on certain things. You can even turn off the mic I said and then you could make it louder by touches too. It doesn't have to be by voice. Right now I'm only talking to it because it's easier. I'm hands free and I'm videotaping here but overall this is a pretty awesome thing. So I'm gonna link this sucker to this sucker and it should all be integrated where it's gonna play my Pandora music and my music, it's gonna play Pandora music in here and my music that's locally here too. Now I'm gonna link this up to my TV so when I'm asking questions, I wanna link up a movie or something or if you have a Netflix account or, or, or Amazon account, it's gonna be working integrated with it. So if you have any questions about how this works, make sure you subscribe to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and don't forget to subscribe because we need the subscribers. I need to hit a thousand to bring in more content just like this. So if you guys like what you see, make sure you subscribe to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, out.